ninakuyatazama magari aina ya matatu yenye michoro al maarufu kama grafiti wewe unashangaa michoro hiyo ilifanikishwa vipi tulienda maana moja kwa moja hadi eneo la Nanyuki Road Industrial Area ili kukutana naye Moha Graphics ambaye amebobea katika sanaa ya uchoraji kwenye matatu Tulimpata Moha akiwa katika pilka pilka za kumalizia urejesho wa gari la kibinafsi alilokuwa akilifanyia kazi kwa siku tatu. Moha anatueleza ni nini haswa yeye ufanya na kile kilichompa msukumo wa kuanza kazi ya graffiti. Moha Graphics it's all about magari from matatu, personal cars, motorbikes, bicycles, anything in a need creativity, kurestoriwa, yani kutoka ikuwe mzee paka ikuwe mpya. Yaani it's all about cars. Any car you can think about. Matatu mostly ni mambo ya graffiti, interior, personal cars is all about restoring them to their original state or maybe change colors, make, do the interior and everything. Nikiwa mdogo ilikuwa napenda art but sasa na napenda gari. Sasa unajua hizo ni vitu mbili alafu ziko mbali mbali. At our time ilikuwa hard hata useme ndachora kitu kwa gari but nilikuwa nachora ma paintings na try kuuza i didn't i couldn't pat a satisfaction so ndo nikaamuacha nijaribu kutora kwa matatu Moha Graphics akiwa wa kwanza katika sekta hii ya uchoraji wa graffiti aliweza kuhamasisha vijana wengi kujiunga na kazi hii ya graffiti anatueleza vile gari lake la kwanza yeye kuchora lilikuwa before ilikuwa mambo ni malines labda hata ilikuwa si michoro mingi ilikuwa watu wapiga maskatings jina Okay ndio mimi sana nikakuja nikalipia hiyo aspect ya kuweka unaona kama sai effect kwa rangi unaweka effect alafu unachora majina just free hand and everything comes to real ile matatu ya kwanza nilifanya ilikuwa kali ilikuwa ni Tanja farm lakini zile zengine zilikuwa unafanya unatolewa mbio kwa garage nikakuwa nachora watu wanashangaa hizi nini mtu anafanya pole pole ikaanza kushika watu wakaanza kupenda people wakaanza kukopi paki kwa kosa mwisho imekuja imekuwa culture saying everyone is doing it 90% of the people are fine most of them mindo ni mwafundisha wengine mindo ni mwa inspire wafanye what they are doing Tulitaka sana kujua kwa muda gani Moha huchukua anapotengeneza na kuchora gari Okay matatu depends matatu sometimes inaweza chukua hata mwezi because they are the small details Unapata but kuna zile normal inaweza chukua like a week just normal paint na graffiti bus gari ndogo it takes 4 day, to 5 days yeah. Moha Graphics anatuelekeza katika uchakato wa kurejesha gari Process ya kupiga gari inaanza kitu ya kwanza bodywork gari na nyoroshwa inapigwa rangi inachorwa alafu sasa tunaingia kwa interior viti inatengenezwa viti kisha itengenezwa kuna roof alafu sasa inakuja music alafu installation za miguu side step Ifo. Mwaka wa 2018 sheria mpya ilipitishwa kuwa magari yote ya umma yatolewe michoro. Hii ilipelekea wenye matatu kugoma. Je, sheria hii imeathiri vipi kazi ya Moha Graphics? Hata paka sasa hiyo ina to affect kwa sababu saizi at the moment sasa watu wanaogopa kutengeneza matatu because people invest a lot of money in matatus at the end of the day zinatolewa kama kuna wakati za gari likuoneka mata nini mtu ana spend like 50 60000 on the lights alafu kesho karao anakuja na zifuta na zitoa kuna watu tofauti ulimwenguni kuna wale ambao wanapenda vitu venye miundo ya hali ya juu kama vile Gucci na wanaweza lipia maelfu ya pesa ili kuvipata moha anatueleza wanaopenda magari wanatumia mamilioni katika usanifu na urejesho ya magari pesa mingi ni karibu mita mtu ananunua tu vitu tukikuja kupiga hesabu tunaona yeye yeah, ameenda hapa ametumia almost hata 1 million. Yeah. Wacha hata matatu, hata gari ndogo. Unapata mtu anaeka rims. Rims peke yake ni 100k. Ukuja kwa interior ni like 50k. Ukuja tena kwa music mtu anaeka music ya 150. Paint tunapiga rangi expensive na depend na mtu ile kitu unataka. Unaona? Unapofanikiwa maishani, unapaswa kuwa mnyenyekevu ili Mwenyezi Mungu akuongeze. Moha Graphics anatueleza ni vipi ameweza kubaki mnyenyekevu licha ya kujulikana ulimwenguni. Me believe in one thing. Kesho mimi nitakufa, nitazikwa. Same na chokora, same na billionaire. So whatever I have in this world, well, I one day I'll leave it. 
So it's better I become humble because Mwenyezi Mungu anatuambia if you are humble to him na obviously ukikuwa humble kwake Mwenyezi Mungu anakufanya utakuwa mpole na nini and he will raise you in status among people. Mi watu wanaona gani kiwa mtu wa maana sana ndio because ya mimi najua Mwenyezi Mungu ni nani na kesho nikifa ndarudi kwake so hata nikiwa na nini kwa hii dunia kesho nitaiwacha hiyo ndio kitu nafanya watu wanakuwa na pride na nini because mtu anapeleka gari ya nguvu kama hiyo anaona yeye amefika lakini kesho anakufa na zikuwa same watu wanalia for one hour after three hours watu wanaenda makao matanga si unaona vile watu wanakula wakicheka wamemsahau so hiyo ndio kitu nafanyaga mimi naogopa kumuudhi Mwenyezi Mungu because whatever yeye amenipa wale hakuna mtu anazanipa amenipatia two hands which can work equally the same Mgaga na upwa hali walimkavu diposa moha graphics akajitosa katika kazi ya graffiti licha ya kuwa na changamoto mbalimbali reason ya hiyo is because wala mimi nikiwa young no one wanted me around them no one, no one wanted to teach me anything tulikuwa nenda mahali unaangalia hivi unatolewa mbio So mimi nilisema mimi I'll do it opposite. Na roho ya utu ambayo Moha anayo ameweza kuwakuza vijana wengi katika sekta hii ya graffiti. Mtu akuja kwangu ndio akujua I'll teach him. Because mimi spend vijana wake mtaani because of your idol. That's where wote kijana akili yake na kuagea na kimbia gambio, anafikiria gacha anifanye hii alafu pia eh, groups inakupoteza. So mimi mm-hmm. mtaka vijana wakae hapa wa learn skills kesho nikiwa mzee wanasema ga ule mzee yale tufundisha na ndio nakula unajua na pia napata blessing because kitu nilipewa na Mungu bure mbona niikazie si niwafundishe je ungependa kuanza biashara yako ama kutumia talanta yako katika kujinufaisha kimaisha haya basi tega sikio ili upate mawaidha kutoka kwa Moha Graphics kitu wa kwanza akwe na knowledge na kitu anataka kufanya usiingie in any business blindly because mimi naweza sema i made mistakes when i started because i just started lazima ukwe na knowledge at least ukwe na a bit of experience before you started and at least utaweza kujua challenges and how to overcome them because mimi nilianza challenges came i almost gave up but i used to pray a lot na Mwenyezi Mungu akanipitisha through but mtu mwingine anaweza kuanza kwanza life say it's harder than how it was for us before say lazima ukwe na knowledge have something to start your business just don't start with nothing look for something to start with because always capital nilikuja uh, baadaye nimekuja kujua capital is very important in any kind of business at least kitu utalie on maybe when things become hard